Let's talk about grocery store wine. Cheap grocery store wine. I went to the grocery store and I picked out three of the cheapest wines I could find. Today, I'm gonna to put them head to head and I'm gonna tell you which one is the best. All right, so the first contestant we have is this guy. This Bianco, Vino Bianco. And it's from, well, you'll notice that it doesn't have a producer on here. It's just white wine, just white wine. But looking at this, there is a business address on the label here and not a name, an address. And with a little research, I did find that it is from a real winery here in Sicily. It is the cheapest of the group that we have today and I almost didn't want to include it because I think it's probably more for cooking wine. I don't know if anybody would actually want to drink that. It comes in a water bottle as we see here, but I figured I had to include it because the whole idea of this video was cheapest grocery store wines and it is in fact the cheapest. 3.79, 3 euro 79 cents. Let's, let's get into it. Uh, as for the looks, it's the darkest of the three. I'd say this one's a medium yellow color. Let's smell it. Smells normal, smells like white wine. Um, Maybe a little tropical. A hint of citrus. It does smell a little funny, a little like plastic maybe because it is in the water bottle. Kind of like petroleum. So that's what we're getting on the smell on this white wine. So let's give it a taste. So it is a bit weird. There's definitely a plasticky, chemical type taste. Kind of harsh, bitter. I think it smells better than it tastes. The smells, it smelled pretty normal. The tropical citrus, but on the taste, the, any of those things we were smelling is kind of overpowered by the kind of chemically taste. Yeah, I don't even know really if you would want to cook with that. It is in a water bottle and it's three euro 79 cents for the two liter. So let's move on to the Freschello. The Freschello, now this one not sure it's gonna be a fair comparison because this is actually from Northern Italy. So these two right here are from Sicily. This one is from Northern Italy. So it's gonna be a little bit different, which is gonna make the comparison a little weird, but yeah, they're, they're all from Italy. They're all white wine. This one, yeah, just a generic Bianco Vino. So white wine, the Freschello. So as for the looks, this one definitely more pale. I would say, maybe I would call that a medium straw color. And there are some bubbles in here too, so it might be a little bit fizzy. I'm not sure, it's not a sparkling wine. It's not supposed to be a sparkling wine. So we'll see about that, but medium straw color, definitely not as dark as the first one. Let's give it a smell. So it seems not quite as tropical as the first one. Maybe more like vegetable as compared to the first. Doesn't smell too bad. Let's give the Freschello a taste. So there's definitely some fizz and it, you can see the bubbles and you can feel the bubbles on your tongue too. And I don't know if that's supposed to be. The Freschello doesn't say anything 
about it being fizzy. Um, I did look up, this one is rated on Vivino. Vivino is a wine app and you can rate wines on there. This one is rated, I think it had a 3.2 star rating out of five. So kind of middle of the road. This one cost two euro 19 cents for the bottle here, 219. Maybe a hint of lemon, but more vegetable-y, kind of like dried herbs, stuff like that. It's not bad. I definitely say it's better than the first one. The first one, mm. This one, not bad, more vegetable. The freschello. All right, let's move on to our last contestant. Our last contestant, the Torre Solara. And if I'm being honest here, I think I had the highest hopes for this one. I don't know what it was. I think maybe it's just the way that it looks and it's in the juice box. It's in the juice box. I was very excited about the juice box. Also, I don't know if you can see here, this guy, look at that guy. I mean, come on, how are you gonna say no to that? Grazie. All right, so the Torre Solata, the Bianco from Sicily. It says here they're, they're using like vineyards from all over Sicily to combine and make their white wine. So this is the Torre, not as pale as this one, not as dark as the first. So maybe we'll call this a pale yellow. No bubbles as compared to this one. Let's give it a smell. All right, so it definitely smells more similar to this one. And that's probably because they're both from Sicily, probably using a similar grape blend for those. This one from Northern Italy, a different grape. So again, I'm not sure it's a fair comparison. This one smells a little bit more nutty. There's a hint of plastic. I'm worried now. I had high hopes for this, but there is a hint, kind of that petroleum plasticky kind of smell but a little floral, maybe like also like honeydew melon kind of smell. Let's give it a taste. I don't think the plastic is coming through. It's not bad, it's really not. It is kind of honeysuckle, but not. it's not sweet. I don't want you to think sweet on that. It's definitely dry, a little nutty, but I think of the three, this one has the most flavor. This one was very weak, not as pronounced. It was not as pronounced in the nose, the way it smelled. The, the taste was not very strong. This one, definitely stronger doesn't it's not a harsh plasticky taste like this one this one has this one is bad this one might be our winner you get kind of the floral notes a little bit of citrus notes maybe a little nutty that's not bad and that one costs 1.99 one euro 99 for the Torre Solata in the little juice box. Grazie. So that's our winner. The Torre Solata is gonna be our winner. And those are the cheap grocery store whites. And if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm probably gonna do a cheap grocery store red in the future, we'll compare all the cheap red ones. And I'd also like to hear from you. Have you found any cheap grocery store wines that you really enjoy? Have you found any really good bargains? Let me know in the comments. 
Or maybe you have a more sophisticated palate and you wouldn't go near any of this stuff. That's fine too. But for now, cheers. <laughs>